Your safety is our top priority, so we appreciate a few minutes of your attention while we demonstrate the safety features of this aircraft. You can follow along with the safety information card in your seat back pocket. We're here to make sure you have a safe and comfortable flight. Thanks for your attention. We hope you enjoy the JetBlue experience. Chicken, mac and cheese, side salad, spicy rice, and chips or french fries. So you guys, we are back on the tube and I'm just topping up my oyster card. Wait, where do the notes go? Where it says notes? You can't push it in there, you're holding the money. We don't feed you. That's fine. <laughs> So you guys, it is day five in London. Literally when I just clicked, or not clicked, literally when I just counted the days in my head, I was shocked that I've actually been out here for five days. But we are going out right now to just grab some food. I feel like I haven't been the best vlogger. I've been spending a lot of time with family. So the majority of this video is probably gonna be like April, but I'm sure it'll come out perfect nonetheless but <laughs> yo should I take off my drag or look like we really outside so 
we're in the grocery store just getting snacks because we have a long bus ride tomorrow to go to like the countries where my mom is from and they have like these smoothies in the store but the flavors are really nice these are two juices and then back here i got two smoothies and i'm excited to see how they taste i also got these like chips they're like their lays technically and i got like all these different flavors to try Guys, their beauty supply store literally looks just like ours. I don't know why I was thinking that it would be different, but there's so many like brands in here that are our brands. They have Shea Moisture. They got silicone mix for the girls. They literally have everything. It's very refreshing. And y'all know the beauty supply store got a smell and it literally has the same smell as like the beauty supply stores in New York. I feel like I'm still in New York. Like I could definitely live out here. So that's the London Eye over there. And then behind me is Big Mac. Yorkshire. Happy New Year, everybody, yeah? Happy New Year. Um, fun fact, my mother was actually born in England, but she's from a small town called Huddersfield, so we're going to visit there today. Mom, you they can't see you, they can hear you. My mother is camera shy, but she's not camera shy. I'm gonna try to meet her so bad, but... <laughs> This bus ride is going to be five hours long. I'm not too happy about that, but yeah. See where Roundtree Macintosh is? What town is it? They're saying that's where Charlie and the Chocolate Factory was made. No, that's not Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. It's called Roundtree Macintosh. Roundtree Macintosh is where Charlie and the Chocolate Factory is. No, it's not. <laughs> Stop you lying to the to people. So Whenever sure I knew. Why do you guys say chocolate like that? Chocolate. It's chocolate. It's chocolate. Not chocolate. Do you want some chocolate or do you want some chocolate? Chips and crisps. Like Which one would you like eat chips first? I like the British one. Sounds better. Chips and crisps. Sounds like it hurts. When you say chips, we mean chips as in potato chips. Fries. You mean fries. Crisp. Crisps. Crisps are, are potato American. Chips. You know yeah. your bag was on the floor. I said, huh? What's that bag on the floor? 
There's a lot in the it's town raining. center. Well, there was there was a lot. Every, but everything is poverty now. It seems like so many things are closing up down. Where does Devonshire live? That's another um, town. They're known for milk, custard. I thought it was a guy. Please. Devonshire is a town? I really yeah. thought it was a guy who made custard, no? <laughs> okay, so, so is, is it Devonshire? Yeah. Or Devonshire. I pronounce it Devonshire. Ooh. But it was a guy. You thought he was in his kitchen. I thought he named the custard after. You gotta ask Trevor when he comes. Trevor comes tomorrow morning. I told him he was coming on a date early. You know how my job get walking up the wrong tree. You know how the dogs get having fallen off. Yeah. Come with a classic. They come around your state and say it's a sleeper. The ears are red. The petty is red. I try to act for. Deposit the money to Brenda Leticia, Alinda Felicia. So you guys, we have officially checked into our travel lodge in Huddersfield. We're about six hours away from London and we're in my mom's hometown, Huddersfield. I feel so much love here. All her friends are here. Her whole entire like life was here before she moved to new york like growing up and being just young and in her 20s and stuff like that so i am so excited to like be here and like just see how much her friends like love her it's really like an amazing experience but we checked into a travel lodge i'm all for doing what the natives do and everyone said get a travel lodge get a travel lodge so that's what i did um She's out right now. We're a little girlfriend. She don't do this in New York, but she's outside right now having the time of her life. She links up with her best friend and her best friend and her have like not identical personalities, but they're pretty spot on. But she's out, I guess, painting Huddersfield Red right now with her friends. And I just ordered me some KFC to the room. And I just got like hot wings and french fries. But I've been ordering McDonald's crazy and I don't even eat McDonald's. So I kind of wanted to try kind of like all the fast foods here. Because when I get back to New York, I'm on my A game. I'm going to cut out all these processed foods. But for now, with me being on vacation, I'm literally going to spoil myself. If you guys know me, y'all know I'm a foodie. So I'm all for trying new foods, different places. Yo, know, everything out here tastes fresher and like the actual thing that you're eating. The crazy thing is, I think my taste buds are so warped that I prefer the American version better because it has like that artificial fake kind of taste to make it taste so good these taste like like mcdonald's tastes like mcdonald's and kfc tastes like kfc but it tastes like the cleaner version like these chickens that were slaughtered for these wings right here they were happy chickens okay they weren't pumped with hormones and all kind of chemicals to fatten them up like they were happy chickens These are good. And they're so little. We're here for about two days. And then we head back to like central London for the weekend. And we're checking into a hotel when we get back to London. The days are passing so quick. And I think it has something to do with the time difference with us being five hours ahead of New York but the days are just zooming by I always said if I'm coming to Europe I'm not doing less than a week makes no sense but now I feel like I I need to do a minimum of two weeks but I'm kind of getting homesick too 
So I'm really not mad about the trip kind of running out. I kind of am because London is so beautiful and like all my family's here. So it's weird me being homesick when I am home. But I miss my dog. Like I'm, I just miss being in my own space, in my own room. You know, eating my own foods and I guess everything is just very unfamiliar right now. And I'm kind of just ready to get back to familiar territory, if that makes any sense. But I'm gonna finish up eating my KFC. Uh, like I said, we're here for two days. So I'll pick it back up with you guys in the morning. To the town center? I have no idea. Well, that's where um, Primark is. So, probably over there. Right across from the fish and chip shop where we were yesterday. Okay. So now you can go around town and see the stores. Mm. Good morning, you guys. So, it's the next day. We are heading out to go and get some breakfast right now. We're just waiting for my aunt. And my cousins to finish getting ready and then we're gonna head out you know they don't understand that i'm a yorkshire lass you know you can't take the yorkshire out of a yorkshire lass can you my god <laughs> it's so good to be home i tell you i tell you i had some fish and chips yesterday and some mushy peas with bits i was like oh and that lad <laughs> So these are like plates and he can make them custom for you. So I just got like a keychain for one of the managers at work. We're at this marketplace down the block from my travel lodge and it's so cute. I literally lost my mom in here. I don't know where she is. So I'm in here trying to figure out what like Arabian perfume I'm gonna buy. I've heard that Arabian perfumes are literally like the goat low key and they have like more oil percentage or I think they might be like fully oil. I don't know, I'm still getting like accustomed to it. But these two right here smell really good. I like this one, but I'm not 100% sure. But I think I might get this one.
going to a family dinner tonight and afterwards we're supposed to be heading out to like a club and I just can't wait to see everybody. This is the ugliest face. I'm wearing this matching leather brown tooth sleeve set from Opali. I got it altered before I left New York. Don't dance. Who told you gangsters don't dance? Even with a weapon, my hip, I dance. Even with a weapon, my